Hello everyone, my name is Bat. Welcome to my very new series where I'm going to be doing reactions. And today I got a special one. I'm going to be reacting to Peacemaker. Now if you guys don't know, Peacemaker is, well, he's the new character. Well, not a new character. He's like the breakout character from the James Gunn's Suicide Squad, which just premiered on HBO Max. I'm really, really excited to see this because um, John Cena really, really had a lot of fun with this role. I can't wait to see him. And yeah, let's just jump into it. Yeah, freaking loads. Don't you hate it when you get ads? Wait, wait, I'm doing it. I'm actually kind of sorry to see this. There we go. Really? Okay. That's super, super lucky. I'm trying to look at like for Easter eggs. And it. Superheroes are bulky. Roll credits. I will crush white people less in the future and kill a higher percentage. Are we set? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i have so i do know that they did a like a musical number but like i spent the whole time waiting till i got my hbo max subscription back to like see it and it is everything that i hope for is that tdk <laughs> i love the eagle <laughs> Is he going to make him give us his helmet? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's Fox News and Alex Jones. Is there an upper check you gotta have you jacked up like Fruity Mavis? Yo, talking to me. That James Gunn's character's dads are really shitty. Ah, oh, look at him. He's so happy to see him. Look at that. Uh Ah, he's giving him a hug.
Speed controls rat. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but you know, I can't make something like that up. He was tortured. His own father tortured him by locking him in a crate for 24 hours with nothing but starving rats. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle is getting it on it too. That is a that's your closet? Jesus Christ, I mean Man. Like I said, Ego and him gotta be the worst dads in James Gunn's like thing. <laughs> because we all need to have an abortion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, you're invited if you I don't I mean your voice. <laughs> That's kind of the appropriate response. I like their little fr like back and forth there. Nothing more American than listening to rock and roll with an American Eagle inside a Ford Mustang. Oh my God, he's actually sticking his head out like a dog. Uh oh. Oh, throw a punch. Oh. Uh, or no, that's a scar mark, I think, from when he got shot. Is he using? He is. Yep. Figured that was going to happen. Man, she's quiet. I don't even know where she's at anymore. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. God damn, she is. Definitely not. Oh, God damn. She is really, really giving it to him. Oh, that, I heard that. Get her, Eagly! Oh, fuck. Jesus, turned her into jelly. No wonder he got eagerly out of there. Jesus, man. I love the blood, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, did he bring him a possum to make him feel better? Well, I wonder how he's going to explain this. All of what just happened. All right. Baby. All right, that was the first episode of Peacemaker. I'm going to check and see if there's any um, post credit scenes. But, man, like, I really, really did enjoy it. Because it kind of set up, like, a whole thing of, like, you know, it made me feel bad for Peacemaker. Because with, like, the Suicide Squad movie, he did kind of act like a overconfident jerk. But now that we actually get to see him, like, how he got to be that way, I mean, just seeing how his dad is... And seeing that he doesn't really have the best life. I mean, he lives in a trailer. And really, the only person that he cares about is Eagly. Right, and that's not even a person. Plus, getting to see, like, all the characters, like, interact with each other. Um, So, it's Hardcourt. I forgot the guy's name with the beard. And Adabe? Or how do you say her, her name? I'll probably take a, a couple episodes to get me used to hearing her name for me to remember it. But I really do like everybody working off of each other. Now, one thing I gotta wonder is, was that lady a metahuman or was she brainwashed or something? Because she could definitely take and was fighting a lot more like animalistic. Why would you want scabies? I didn't want you to have scabies. Uh, no. God, that is just awful. Like, why would you even want that for anybody? All right, guys. Well, like I said, it was kind of cool because we get to see a little bit of how Peacemaker wound up being the way he is. We got to feel sorry for him, and it was a lot of fun. I really, really did enjoy the show. If you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time, hopefully for more Peacemaker. Later.